Okay, everyone. So it's after Christmas now, after New Year's. Time to put the uh, the decorations away. So as you can see, we got all kinds of stuff going away now. Most of our stuff is away, and uh, now it's time to uh, put away the nutcrackers. So uh, I believe I had mentioned uh, previously that I was planning on uh, corpsing my uh, nutcrackers. I was going to use the method uh, used by Stilpy Studios to uh, uh, corpse the Walgreens uh, Bluffies. And um, it actually works out pretty good. Uh, I've done the soldier so far. And you can see he's covered in uh, the shrink wrap. These are going to be uh, stored underneath my porch. So it won't, uh, this is to prevent it from uh, getting dirty and uh, whatever else that uh, comes from being under there. And um, obviously I'm not trying to go for the uh, the corpse look, and so a couple of uh, layers of the uh, plastic wrap should uh, protect it uh, fairly well from the uh, elements. And uh, you'll see there's a couple of holes. Now, I'm not really well, actually I covered it up because uh, <laughs> you you can burn a few holes. There actually was a hole right here you can see and I just laid a sheet an extra piece of uh, plastic over the top of it and uh, used my heat gun to uh, cover it up with another, the other piece of uh, plastic so um, two layers of uh, shrink wrap on it and it should be uh, good to store underneath the porch until uh, I need it for next year so uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with how uh, Stilpy Studios did his um, uh, corpsing technique I'll just show you what I'm doing here now with the uh, uh, the nutcrackers. Only oh, because they're a little bit bigger and not trying to uh, uh, actually corpse them. Don't want all holes and stuff like that uh, into it. So uh, now I'll show you on the king how it is I'm going to do. All right, first thing I do is. Uh, First thing I do is spread out the, uh, the plastic wrap. I lay the nutcracker down on top of it. And bring the sheeting over the top. Same on the other side. Using the heat gun and seal up the bottom first. I gather it together, punch it up, get the heat gun hot, and then I can seal it this way, and that holds it in place. In the Stilpy Studios uh, corpsing method, you know what I'm actually doing here. And now, just going along and trying to seal up different areas to hold it, hold the plastic tight. And then what I'll do is I'll go back. And then go over the whole thing and seal it. Come up to the top and do the same thing as I did on the bottom. So give us better up here. Gather it together like this. wall here.
Now that the bottom has been sealed, I can stand it up and work it a little better. Here, made some holes in it. I didn't even see any of that while I was doing it. Right here, I got some holes. So the uh, put this extra sheet. I put a plastic over the top. Uh, yeah, where did you get that plastic from? Uh, I bought it. Thanks. That, everyone, was my wife. Right there. This sheet, the remaining sheet, isn't as big as the other one, so that's why I'm just throwing it over the top here. And that, by the way, is everyone, that's who I refer to as the crypt keeper all the time. And there you have it. Should be protected from the dirt and grime underneath the porch. And uh, should be able to just cut it off next year and pop them out, and they'll be uh, just as good as they are now. Okay, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel and check out my blog, www.devilseve.blogspot.com, where you'll find a lot more ideas and information about Halloween and haunt related topics. Okay, thanks for watching.